I forgot to put down my mic for my headset in the last two videos of this I recorded. So, I'm just going to re-record both of them and pray. Uh, this one's going up the day I record it, so two videos today, I think, hopefully. And I think if I uploaded the last one, it probably would have gotten taken down because of a thing that I don't think I'm supposed to be talking about on YouTube because I'm a mature topic. But I want to tell a story about a really shitty... Oh, wait, is it... Oops. Let's pray this video doesn't get taken down. I saw in the first minute of it. I don't think I'm supposed to do that. Uh, but... Basically, I met this really terrible parent. Well, I was with my fr oh. Well, I was with my friends hanging out at a creek that's right next to my house. I'm a block away from this creek, right? And this dumbass Karen is like, Well, no, you shouldn't... Like, no. Okay, wait. Let me start over. So, to give context, me and my friends have been meeting up through this summer, this is about a year ago, for about a couple weeks now. Also, go listen to Chill Hop Radio. It's, radio. it's really good. It's what I have playing right now. I don't know if I'm allowed to use their music. I don't know if it is their music or if they're just streaming it. But kudos to them. It's really good. But, okay. So. This, this dumbass mom. Okay, she has her kids there, and to give context, there's the creek, and say the bridge for the creek is right here, then the creek goes down, and then there's a swing like here, and another swing here, but the swing here is the better one. So everyone kind of uses that one, but the thing is, the swing here is too far to reach, because it swings out to here, and we're all like 11, everyone migrate, not everyone migrate, but everyone migrate that lives around, everyone that lives around me, we all... We all just kind of vibe there, minding our own business with our friends. This we don't really bother each other. We all just go. This is oh, my computer froze. Am I still recording? Yep, that was weird. Um, but oh, are you? Yep, you're caught. <clears throat> but so. This Karen, her kids, have this stick that we've all been using to get the swing for the past two weeks, and it's like, oh yeah, it's just a stick, big whoop, you can find another one. We looked for another one before we even talked to her about it, and we couldn't find a stick that was nearly as long and nearly as correctly shaped. And... I don't blame her kids for this. I blame the Karen for raising her kids to be such dipshits. Because, yeah, maybe it would have just looked like a stick on the ground, but the thing is, we placed it in a spot that made it look like it was being used so people would try to not take it. And these kids still took it. And we were like, hey, th that's the stick everyone's been using for like a couple weeks now to get to the thing. We we, everyone's been using it for a couple weeks now. We've all been using it to get the, sl the swing back to our spot. Can we please have it back? We'll find you a better stick. And they were like, no, it's our stick. It's our wizard one for our roleplay game. And I'm like, okay, cool, but we can find you a better wizard stick. And they're like, mm, no, why don't you just find a better stick? And we're like, we already looked for a better stick for quite a while. And then they're like, mm, suck it up. It's our stick now. And these kids are like seven. And we're like 12. And I'm not being trying to be super, oh, respect your elders, kids. But, like, I think it should be common knowledge if you're a 7-year-old not to tell a... Oh, I'm screwed. Not to tell a person that's 12 that could kick your ass quite easily to shut it. And then we went to their mom, and we are like, hey, your kids are being super disrespectful to us. We told them to shut it, even though we're, like, five years older than them. Not a big deal. We can deal with that. We'll, we'll just let it fly. But can we please have that stick back? Everyone's been using it. Not just us. Everyone that hangs out this creek. It's unanimously just, like, the sticks, the swing stick. We use it to get the swing back from the 
wherever it originally is. You know, like, hmm, can't you just find a better stick? We looked for a better stick for 15-ish minutes. It took us a while, but we couldn't find a stick. I'm sorry. Hmm, actually, no. Our kids are perfect. They wouldn't have taken your stick. No, they're clearly not perfect if they're doing this. Well, actually, no, my kids wouldn't do anything like that. If you said they insulted you, you probably just misheard them. No, I'm pretty sure they told us to shut up. But, like, this is already starting to annoy me. But then they were like, okay. These kids were, th these parents, these Karens, were already starting to really annoy me. But then... That was a great waste of rock fuel. But then, if this wasn't enough, the parents... Okay. This is the part that I think... I called it something that was a bit too close to what it actually is, so I'm gonna just say... If you know, you know. And... You should... They weren't watching their kids. Right? And there was a little, like, forest. Not a super thick jungle of trees, but, like, a bunch of trees surrounding this little forest that we have around the creek. Not even, like, a mile long. But, given that we were all kind of chilling, but given that my friend was at the creek, and he found a... How do I put this? I need to word this so then this video doesn't get taken down, which I probably will regardless. He found a bunch of shaving cream. A bunch of shaving cream in a plastic glove from a man that was underneath a teepee in the forest area. Around, it's not an actual forest, it was just a bunch of closely put together trees that were, like, you couldn't see the edge of it from the creek in one direction. And we were like, your kids are playing with sticks, and this is not a super safe area to let seven-year-olds run around in. There might be some tricky people around here that your kids are not quite old enough to be able to avoid too well. So, we are like, hey, maybe watch your kids a bit better too, and they were like, HOW DARE YOU RIDICULE US ABOUT PARENTING? And I was already pretty annoyed at this point. But like, on top of these Karens, just being the worst parents physically ever, and on top of just being straight up, just downright awful parents. Oh. Ouch. On top of just being downright awful parents. On top of that. They were being so annoying, being so insulting to us. And then they were like, you're being so horrible to us. When they were being the most horrible people to us, and the most horrible parents to their kids. And they were like, hey, what the heck? Why are you, where are your parents? Why aren't they with you? Ma'am, we're 12 and I look, live right up the block and there's thir three of us. I think we're fine if we all mutually just chill at the creek. And then she was like, well... Mm, I don't think so. I think your parents are horribly irresponsible. And this annoyed me, because I have phenomenally amazing parents that are extremely supportive of anything ever. They're like the greatest parents I could have ever asked for. And this annoying bitch at the creek, she's like, well, mm, how about why, no, actually, mm, no. We're gonna call the cops if you give us too much trouble. And it's just... Uh, it's just so annoying to me, dude. Because, like, 
we're not doing anything wrong. We're just kids hanging out at a creek, and you're just harassing us. Well, not harassing, but, like, you're pestering the shit out of us. So, I'm like, okay, I, okay. This is really starting to get on my nerves. I may have cussed her out a couple times, and I got very irritated and angry, which is not what normally happens with me. I like to think of myself as a pretty chill person. But this really annoyed me. And after that, she was like, you're so disrespectful, you're such a horrible person. We just, we just left. I couldn't have been bothered. I just left just went home and jumped on a trampoline for a bit. These people were horrible parents. They were horrible people in general. Oh, hello. I'm arrested. But it just annoyed me so much. So we just went, jumped on a trampoline, cooled down, talked about how shitty of a person she was. Oh, thank you. And then we just kind of left. Oh, I'm arrested again. I hate it when people can't. But, yeah, that just really annoyed me quite a bit. Uh, also, I'm going to talk about one more story in this video, because I feel like just sitting and recording and rambling on and on and on. Because I've had a lot of work to do today, and my throat is kind of sore, and I just wanted to ramble. I don't really need a reason to need, want to ramble and tell stories. But I had a teacher named Miss Doyle. Borderline, she was the worst teacher I've ever had. Sorry if you're watching this, Miss Doyle, but just... You didn't like me. I really didn't like you. You were not, not great to me or the kids you were teaching. And... If you are Miss Doyle watching this, click off now, please. Because I don't want this video to get taken down. But, wait, is this video going to get taken down because I'm saying her name? I'm not saying her full name, I'm just saying Miss Doyle. Okay. And no one's going to see this anyway. But, she is just... So, Ms. Doyle is like, have you ever been with, like, just hanging out, have you ever been with your friends, just hanging out with your friends, and they're like, dude, I'm not even kidding, this teacher told me to shut up, you know, and then it's usually not really true, because they're, because they're like, they might be a grumpy teacher, but they're not, like, that bad, but, Miss Doyle, I'm not kidding. If you, like, this... I feel like she shouldn't have been a teacher. Because obviously she couldn't deal with kids that well. And, like, on top of that... She get very easily, very angry at us kids. For slightly messing up. And she started ridiculing me and yelling at me for writing my cues wrong. And I don't have that great handwriting. I have really trash handwriting. But you can't ridicule a child and yell at him for hating his handwriting. I can't help that my handwriting is bad. I just write. I've tried improving it and it doesn't work. At least it's not my kindergarten handwriting. But, she, this one time, this one time in the story I'm going to tell you, there was normal class, and we were all just chilling, doing our work, and one kid came up to her and said, Miss Doyle, I really need to go to the bathroom, can I go to the bathroom? She said no, and he goes, please, I'm going to pee my pants unless I go, it's urgent. And she goes, no, you can wait, you had time to do it in the, well, in the hallway, and he goes, please, and then she just goes, shut up and go back to your desk, and it's blowing my mind, because, A, no one's sticking up for the kid, B, she hasn't been fired yet, 
and see you. She's like borderline just telling this kid to shut up. And that's never happened before. I've never seen this happen before. And I'm like, okay, um, Jesus, what the fuck, dude? And then this kid is like, oh god, I'm just gonna go sit down again, I guess. This is going horribly. So he goes, he, oh wait, I already have, I got bad buttons. He goes, sits down, and I, like, you can see on his face that he had to pee so badly, and my computer froze. But this kid, like, he goes, sits down, think he made it through class without peeing himself, and then he, like, I saw him sprinting to the bathroom in between classes, but I felt so bad for him because, like, she was just such an awful teacher. Like, really. It annoyed me so much. She was such an awful teacher. And if you don't like kids that much, then why do you teach? You have to go through, like, an entire career thing to become a teacher. You have to go to college, go to college to become a teacher, and you have to go to college for teaching to become a teacher. So why do you go to college for teaching and become a teacher if you don't like teaching students? Anyway, that's it for this video because, uh, I don't know, man. I want to talk more, but actually, I'll talk a little more. My PC might overheat while I'm recording this stuff. I doubt it will, but it might. Okay, but, yeah. Also, I feel like people should just have as much... Also, I feel like kids should just kind of have as much of whatever they... People, kids just should just have, like, unlimited screen time. I feel like screen time limits are stupid. Unless it's under circumstances where maybe the kid is addicted to screens, like downright just addicted, addicted. Or maybe in a situation where, like, I don't know. There, there are situations where things can lead to parents needing to have their kids have screen time limits. But I feel like by default... You shouldn't have a screen time limit as long as you're getting everything you need to be done. Because I, for example, I've got a screen time. I don't have a screen time limit. I can play for, like, as long as I want. But I still do my chores. I get my chores done. I don't have great grades, but I'm improving on it. I get most of my work done in school. And the work I don't get done, I get done on every Wednesday. I do makeup work. And I just get all the screen time I want. And I still walk the dogs and jump on trampoline and still get outside. Even though I do a lot of screens, I don't see a problem with me doing a lot of screens because, well, I'm getting everything I need to do done. So, what's the big deal on screen time? If I'm getting everything I need to get done, why can't I just do what I want to do? So, cool. I just get to do whatever I want to do. Like, whenever, if I've gotten everything I, after school, if I've gotten all my school stuff done, I can't do games while I'm in school. If I get all my school stuff done, then I go, and I get into, like, gaming and stuff, and I've done all my chores, then boom. And I'm the one that asked to do chores, by the way. I asked my parents, hey, can I do chores? I'm, I need a bit more money because I want things. And I, oh, and I can't rely on just going, like, hey, I have a deal. Buy me this, and I'll get my grades up. No. Get your grades up or you're grounded. Okay. Like, you can't rely on that for money. So, like, I just asked to start doing chores. And so chores were my option. But I feel like it's stupid that some people get maybe 30 minutes to an hour of screen time, even though they might, even though they might be, like, perfect students. They get all their chores done faster than I do. They have much better grades than me. 
They get all their work done the day that it's done. They've never gotten a missing assignment or ever below a C in their grades. Yet they're restricted to an hour to 30 minutes of screen time every day. And I get it, the parents don't really know how it might affect the, like, I get it. Parents don't really know how it might affect their children. But if your kid really enjoys playing a game, they really enjoy playing video games. You can't really, it just feels wrong to me. If the kids have everything they need to be done, they've got all their free time for the rest of the day, and you're just going, no, you can't do this thing. You can only do this thing for a certain amount of time. When screens don't have negative effects on people. There are a lot of fake, like, rumored, like, the screens are bad for your eyes thing. Never actually been proven to be true. Maybe if you just don't blink for too long while playing a game, that might damage your eyes. If you just don't blink. But, like... No. It's perfectly fine. You're perfectly fine to do whatever you want, at least in my opinion. And it annoys me because if you only are restricted to, like, 30 minutes to an hour of screen time a day, there's so many games, like maybe Fortnite, which, not that popular anymore, but I'm gonna use it as an example. One game can last, like, 20 to 30 minutes. That would be all of your screen time in one game of Fortnite. Or if you want to play, like, Sea of Thieves, one session usually lasts over an hour because the game is so time-consuming. So it is pretty much also just taking these games that the child should be able to play, but they just can't anymore because their parents are just being stuck up about it and are trying to control the child. And I also hate it when parents are, like... I don't think this happens too much, and I think everyone's kind of in agreement that if you do this, you're just a bad parent. But I hate it when parents just kind of go, No. You can't follow this career. No. You can't do this. No. You can't get into battle song for thing. No. You can't, play sp you can't play sports. No. You can't play video games. No. You can't do this. You have to follow in my footsteps. Like... Say the family has, like, a tradition of you're all matadors and you all fight bulls. What if the kid doesn't want to fight bulls? What if he wants to be a musician? But you want him to fight bulls. You really want him to fight bulls, and you're going to make him fight bulls. No, you can't make him fight bulls because what he wants to do is be a musician. He's born to be a musician. If he wants to be a musician, he can be a musician if he wants. It just annoys me when parents are too prickly or too overprotective of their students or kids. Anyway, that's it for this video. Uh, I just yammered for 20 minutes, 3 minutes, 20 minutes, 3 minutes and a half. Bye!